Hi guys, um, I have not done an update for quite some time about the emu eggs um, as far as the incubator. I do have 10 emu eggs in the incubator. Um, and I'll show you. So, here are four. These are the last four that I put in. Um, and then up here are the first six that I put in. The two in the middle, number one and number two right here, these, these two. Um, have been in the incubator over 30 days now. So they were put in on, I think it was September, September 17th. Um, probably this weekend I'm gonna pull them out just to see if they might be doing any kind of wiggling or anything. Um, see if I can see movement. Um, but it could be potentially um, hatching time in about, well, anywhere from the late 40s into the 60s as far as numbers of days. So um, we're at 30, what would it be, like 32 or three days, something around there. Up to the, I haven't looked at the calendar to see exactly, but um, we're, we're getting pretty far in there. So on the first, on the first few. So I just wanted to update everyone. Um, hopefully everything will go well and I'll have some emu chicks to share and to find new owners for. I will be um, sending their DNA off to have them uh, DNA, gen you know, to get their gender before sending them off to their new home. So I'll be keeping them for about probably two weeks before I send them off. That way I know they're good and healthy and their legs are doing well and all of that. This is the incubator that I used. It's a 1502 Sportsman. It's the same, same exact incubator. Um, it's a GQF brand. It's the same one I used to hatch Eggy in. Um, Eggy's now six months old and he is just the most precious thing, y'all. I can't even begin to explain. I love all of my emu, but that little baby, I'll tell you what, he's gonna just be my little sidekick for life. That's what I'm telling you. Um, I think the fact that I hatched him and that there was no other emu with him as he's been growing up has really made him just love me. Um, I mean, he's independent and everything, but um, that little baby, he'll let me squeeze him and hug him. He'll sit in my, you know, he'll sit like his upper body in my lap and cuddle me and um, he's just so cute. Anyway, Sasha's sleeping on the bed. Zoe's on the bed. Look at silly Sasha. What are you panting so hard about, baby girl? I love you. I love you, babies. Little babies. I know you're not little. But anyway, I wanted everyone to know that the, the eggs are, everything seems to be going fine with the eggs. Um, I've been able to keep the humidity nearly perfect the whole time with this humidicate. It's been a godsend. I'm so happy that I bought that. Last year, I fought and fought and fought with humidity, and that has just resolved the whole problem. So, um, I have a little... Uh, gadget in there that tells my phone if for some reason the temperature goes with with out of the range that I have it set at or if the humidity goes out of the range I have it set at my phone alarm uh, it has an alarm that tells me and I don't even think it's gone off but maybe once or twice um, the whole time so um, I should be having fairly good results um, we'll see how it goes anyway I hope you all have a wonderful day thanks so much and keep your fingers crossed for us Thanks.